we have come a very long way um, in terms of the treatment of disease. Every year, every year or two, there are new drugs that are approved for the treatment of this disease. You know, looking back, and I would say um, in the dark ages when we used to just use traditional chemotherapy, we have um, have since then we have developed newer agents. You know, after that came the novel agents like lenalidomide, abortezomib. Um, you know, these game changing drugs, and then now we are using drugs that uh, that that um, rope in the immune system to try to get rid of myeloma, such as the anti-CD38 antibodies, and more recently, um, the CAR T-cell therapies, T-cell engagers. Um, so there's this, you know, it's just amazing to see the revolution over time in, in terms of the treatment of this disease. Um, and, and with it comes not just efficacy, not, not just that these agents are, are are better and better in terms of how they of how they work and that they do work, um, but also the patient's experience uh, with treatment is also so important, and we don't talk enough about it. I mean, patients that are treated with traditional um, uh, chemotherapy agents, it can be really difficult. And luckily, we have you know we have now these newer novel agents. We still have room for improvement. There's always room for improvement. But we have definitely come a long way and that there's much to be, um, there's a lot to be proud of for that, but we still have more to do. You know, looking towards the future, I think, you know, we, we need to find a cure for this disease. We have, you know, we have not yet gotten there yet, um, but that is something that is a goal that we all must strive for.